Today we're going to take a look at why studying English pronunciation can be so hard. Let's step through a series of words and see what happens to the sounds as we change some of the letters. Through. Step through. That's a good place to start. Through. A preposition, a handy little word, begins with the unvoiced th. Th. The r consonant. Thr. And the oo vowel. Through. Through. Now what would happen if we drop the r? Thu. Thu. No, that's not right. Through. Drop the R. Not thu. But actually, though. So the th, 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 is now voiced. And the vowel sound has changed to the O diphthong. Though. Okay. What would happen if we add a T? Vote. Vote. No. That's not right. That word is pronounced thought. Okay, so we've switched back to an unvoiced th. Now we have the aw vowel and a final t. Thought. Thought. Okay, so what would happen if we drop the th and add a b? Thought becomes bot. And that is how that word is pronounced. Excellent. Bot. Now what would happen if we drop the final T? Bot becomes ba. But it doesn't. It's not pronounced ba. It's pronounced bow. Okay, so the a vowel changes to the ow diphthong. Bow, bow. Okay. What would happen now if we switched out the B for a C? Bow becomes cow. Yes, cow is a word. But wait, that's not how cow is spelled. This is how cow is spelled. So this, even though it was bow, isn't cow. It's cough. Cough. So we have the aw vowel and somehow an F consonant has crept in. Cough. Okay. Cough. What would happen then if we drop the C, add an EN? Since it was cough, surely this must be enough. No, that's not what it is. It's enough. So the A vowel changes to the A vowel, but somehow that F sound stays in there. Enough. Enough. And I think that's about what I've had. I think I've had about enough of O-U-G-H and its thousands of pronunciations. That's it. I'm out.